What's up, Barack Youth Ministry? James here, ready to talk to you again this week to finish out our series entitled Seen. So the last two weeks we've talked about the idea of being seen, and we talked about Hagar two weeks ago and, and how she has this moment in the desert when, the, when God comes to her, she says, you are the God who sees me. And how wonderful it feels to actually be known, to be seen for who we are. And last week we talked about this woman who had been bleeding for 12 years and had found no relief, no healing. And she touches the hem of Jesus' garment, just the bottom part of his robe, and she is healed. And we talked about the fact that sometimes we don't want to be seen, but our God is not a God who ignores us. And our God is not a God who just brings healing, but he also brings relationship. He doesn't just heal you, he wants to be with you. And what beautiful wonderful words and we're so grateful for that story of the woman who had been bleeding and so today as we get started um, i wanted you to take a second and i want you to think about to share with somebody well what's a time that you've really wanted attention and what did you do to get attention in fact drop that in the comments below well, what did you do for attention what was a time you really wanted that attention there's been plenty of times in my life where I wanted attention, and, uh, and I, I'm goofy, I'll do weird things, I'll, I'll do random things, and I, I tried to think of a specific story, but there's just so many times in my life where I've been a little goofy just to get attention, I, I couldn't really think of one specifically. But there's these times that we all feel this longing to be seen. We, we want that attention, we want the focus to be on us. And sometimes we do things that are real quiet and subtle. Sometimes we do things that are really appropriate in order to get attention. But there are other times we do things we have no business doing in order to get attention. My youngest loves to do like handstand headstands on our couch right now. And she'll just flip upside down all of a sudden. And uh, we can't help but look at her and I, I can't help but think maybe that's her way of getting attention. Wanting attention is just a sign that you are wanting to be seen. Wanting to be seen for who you are. And so today I want us to take a look as we kind of round out this series called Seen. I want us to take a look at the book of Luke chapter 19. And in the book of Luke chapter 19 we've got a story uh, of Zacchaeus. Now if you don't know anything about Zacchaeus aside from the name is weird um, there's a song that you sing whenever you go to Bible class when you're little, and you'll say, Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And I'm not going to sing anymore because I already feel ridiculous, but Zacchaeus is this really, really interesting person. And so let's take a look at Scripture this morning and see, maybe if we can see a little bit of ourselves in the story of Zacchaeus this morning. Luke chapter 19, starting in verse 1. It says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and he was wealthy. So stop right there immediately. So we hear that Jesus is going through Jericho. He's only passing through, but there's this guy that really wants to see him, and his name is Zacchaeus. And all that it tells us about him is that he was a chief tax collector, and he was wealthy. Well, if there's one thing we know about tax collectors from back in the day is that they tended to cheat people all the time. That is what they are famous for. They're famous for cheating people out of their money. They would charge them more than they were supposed to charge them, and they would take that extra for themselves. And so Zacchaeus was one of those tax collectors. In fact, he wasn't just a tax collector. He was the chief tax collector. And it says he was very wealthy. He had cheated a lot of people to get to where he was. Keep reading with me. Verse 3. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. 
So Zacchaeus has heard about Jesus, heard about who he is, and realized, I want to go see this guy. But Zacchaeus has a problem that I've never had once in my life, and that is, he was short. Now, I'm six foot four. I don't have a whole lot of problem reaching things on the top shelf. Um, my problem is that shower heads hit me about right here a lot of times. And so uh, Zacchaeus, though, he is short. Uh, he can't help it. It's not something he can do anything about. It's just who he is. And uh, as we sing that song as we're kids that Zacchaeus was a wee little man, I'm sure he probably felt like that. That he cheated people out of their money. He took more than he was supposed to in order to kind of compensate for his lack of height. Maybe he was made fun of. Maybe he was teased for being short. And so his way of getting back at all those people is to take their money because he can. And so Zacchaeus is short. And as Jesus is coming into Jericho to move through the town, Zacchaeus realizes pretty quickly that there's a crowd and he's not going to be able to see Jesus. And so it says that he climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Zacchaeus climbs up in this tree in order to see Jesus. Keep reading with me. Verse 5. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. And it says all the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. So Zacchaeus climbs up in this tree and as Jesus and his procession is going through town, he looks up and he sees this little guy who has climbed a tree in order to see him. Now, it doesn't say that Jesus had known who Zacchaeus was before. Maybe Jesus had paid taxes to him. We don't know. But what we do know is that he calls him by name. Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. If there's one thing I know, it's that when I get the attention that I'm looking for, I feel amazing. And Zacchaeus, who has been searching for this attention, gets it. Jesus sees him in that moment, up in the tree. He sees him. And not only that, but he calls him by name and he says, I want to be with you. Those are strong and powerful words that Jesus speaks to someone who was not loved by his community, who was an outcast, not only because of his height, but because of the way he treated other people. And so when Jesus does that, they automatically all see it and go, he's going to be the guest of a sinner. Great, Jesus. Why are you rewarding this guy by going to his house? But look at what happens in verse 8. But Jesus stood up and said to the Lord, meaning to Jesus, he says, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. He's called down from the tree. Everybody begins to mumble and be like, well, why is Jesus hanging out with this dude? I don't know. What's his problem? Doesn't he know what kind of guy he is? And as he, people are doing that, Zacchaeus hears it. I believe the impact that Jesus has on a sinner's heart is immediate. And so as Jesus has seen Zacchaeus for who he really is, he stops and he says, hey, I'm going to give half of everything I have to the poor. And then he says this, which I always have thought is funny. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, wait a minute, if Zacchaeus, dude, we know what's happening. We know what's happening. And here's the thing. We know that you have cheated people. But he says, if I have done that, I will pay back four times the amount. I'm not just going to make it right once, 
twice or three times. I'm going to make it right four times. Huge deal. I, I, I've always thought Zacchaeus maybe just needed to be seen and known by God. Now, maybe he had never given that opportunity, but as he does, as he climbs this tree, and as Jesus points him out and calls him by name and says, I want to be with you, he responds. And he says, I'm, I'm getting rid of it all. Half of it, gone right now. I'm giving it to the poor. And anybody that I've cheated, you come talk to me, I'll give you back four times what I took from you, above and beyond what I was supposed to. And I can't help but think that there are many, many of us who just long to be seen. And we do lots of things to get attention. You know, maybe we are short. Maybe, maybe that's a, a problem for us and we have a complex about it. Or, or maybe, maybe we're really, really thin and, and people make fun of us for that. Or maybe we have uh, weird color hair or maybe we just aren't cool or, or whatever it might be. Maybe... Maybe we aren't the most talented or whatever. Whatever it is, there are times that we go seeking attention because we have not been given it. And the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of times when we look for that attention in places we have no business being. You know, Zacchaeus climbs this tree in order to see Jesus because I feel like he's looking for the right kind of attention. But we go looking for attention in places that we don't need to be. We look for attention by doing things we shouldn't do. We look for attention by saying yes to peer pressure and partying with our friends. We say yes to peer pressure because we, we want to be accepted. We say yes to that person we're dating and do inappropriate things with them because we want to be accepted and loved. And the fact of the matter is God loves us. But maybe we haven't given him the opportunity To see us. And what I mean by that is Zacchaeus climbs up this tree in order to see Jesus, and maybe we just haven't taken the time and the energy and the effort to be in a position where we can see Jesus. And so we take the easy route. For Zacchaeus, it was cheating people out of money. For us, It can be a number of things, but whatever it is, have we given our energy and our time and our efforts to be seen by Jesus? Because if there's one thing I know about Jesus, it's that he sees us if we let him see us. You know, last week as we talked about the fact that the woman didn't want to be seen and Jesus seeks her out, I think there are times too that we do our best to hide, not just from Jesus seeing us, but from us really letting ourselves acknowledge that that's really what we need. You know what I mean? Like it's this idea that, that it would be far easier for us to find acceptance by doing things that we know we shouldn't do. And it's far more difficult to let ourselves be seen by Jesus. Because when Jesus sees us, he sees us with all of our faults, with all of our mistakes, with all of the bad. But the great thing about who Jesus is, is that he doesn't just see that. What he sees is that we are a beloved child of God. And that we are his. He sees Zacchaeus in that moment in a way that Zacchaeus needed to be seen. And so I want to ask you this week, have you been someone that Jesus has seen? Have you put yourself in a position to see him in order that he might see you? What are you doing in this process? Jesus longs to see you and know you. But he wants you to be the one that climbs up in the tree, ready for him to see. He wants you to acknowledge him. And so our task and our goal this week is to be seen by Jesus. 
I hope that you will be someone who climbs the tree, who takes the opportunity to be seen by him because he will not pass by the opportunity to see you. He longs to not only heal you, but to be with you. Praise be to God that we are seen by our Savior. I want to pray with you this morning, and then we'll be done. Heavenly Father, I am so thankful that you see us for who we are. But you love us way too much to leave us there. And as you see Zacchaeus in this story, God, we know that that you call him down from that tree. You long to go and spend time with him and and, and, and that meant something to Zacchaeus. And God, that means something to us that we know that when you seek us out, you will find us. God, help us to put ourselves in the tree so that we might be seen by Jesus. We are so thankful that, that Jesus on that day stopped to see Zacchaeus. And God, we pray that we will be seen by Jesus. Not only that, God, but we are thankful that the impact that you have on us is immediate. That it happens. And so, God, we pray that when you see us, that we will feel seen and known. And that that impact will take hold immediately. We are so grateful that we have had the opportunity to come before you today. And we pray that as we continue to struggle with this idea of being seen and known in our world, that we know that all we need to do is be seen by Jesus. Thank you so very much for loving us in such a ridiculously incredible way. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, and we all say, Amen. I love you, God bless you, and have a great week.